Hello, welcome to day 5 video, Introduction to AutoCAD. Previously, we learned how to use modifying commands Trim and Fillet. Today, we will practice these commands and learn how to find advantage in different modes of circle and polygon commands. Let's go to Ribbon, to Home tab, to Draw Panel and we will choose from a draw panel rectangle command. First, tooltip prompting us to specify first corner point and then we need to specify another corner point or to enter lengths of sides of this rectangle. So let's say it's 120 for longer side and 20 for shorter side. Now let's go back to Home tab to Draw Panel and when we click on a flyout next to Rectangle command we have Polygon command. Let's see how it works. First tooltip prompting us to enter number of sides. Let's say this is a 5 side polygon and then we need to specify center of polygon. We will choose midpoint of a shorter side of rectangle. Then we need to choose if this polygon is inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. Let's say it's inscribed in circle. Then we need to specify radius of this circle. Let's do it once again. So we can uh, just press enter to repeat the last used command or we can enter pol for polygon into command line or we can go to ribbon. So first we enter number of sides then we specify a center point and then we choose that it is inscribed in circle and then we enter radius so if we would now draw circle with the same radius and as our polygon it would look like this let's see how other mode works so we type pol for polygon, we enter number of sides, let's say 6 now, then we need to specify center point, then choose circumscribed about circle, and then we specify radius. Number of sides 6. center of polygon is the midpoint it's circumscribed and then let's say radius is 30 now let's do let's draw circle with the same radius and same center point you see here this polygon is inscribed into this circle and here this polygon is circumscribed about this circle now we want to delete part of parts of this rectangle that are inside of this polygon and this circle if we use delete command we will have to delete whole object all rectangle circle polygon whichever object but whole one you can't delete part of object with delete command that's why we are using trim command when we pre enter tr for trim into command line tooltip prompting us to select objects. We choosing object that we want to trim 
and we choosing intersecting objects like limits for our trim command then we press enter and then we need to choose uh, parts of object that we want to delete as you can see we have those two lines that are left here and if we try to trim them tooltip is prompting us with the notice that no intersections in the interior of the curve it means that we can't trim these lines we need to delete them let's remember now how to make round corners here er, from this line and this circle and from this the same line and this polygon we're rounding circles with fillet command by radius let's say radius is 10 now we select first object and if we try to choose circle for the second object it says cannot fill it between these two entities we need uh, some other object for example this polygon that is circumscribed around the, the circle And now we need to trim parts that we don't need. Now we have nice rounded corner from this line to this circle. If we want to do the same with the rest of our angles, we will have to repeat this action. So polygon, number of sides, specify center point circumscribe about circle and then radius we are accessing fillet command again it will repeat now radius mode because it was last used and we delete the rest of our polygon nice now let's see the other way how to round angle between line and circle by using advantage of different modes of circle command let's enter circle command and then let's choose tan tan radius mode then we specify first tangent this line other tangent this circle and then enter radius there we have radius 10 there we have circle with radius 10 that is tangented to this line and this circle now we zoom in select these objects and trim parts of these objects that we don't want on our drawing and there we have nice rounded angle same like here once again we enter circle command then choose tan tan radius mode or we can go to home to draw panel and open fly out under circle command and use tan tan radius command then we specify first tangent and second tangent and then enter radius now only it's left to trim parts that we are not needed
Now I will introduce you to one more useful tool from Draw Panel. It's Construction Line. Construction Line is the line that extends to infinity. In one, in one direction it's called Ray, or in both directions it's called X Line. These lines uh, can be used as references for creating other objects and especially for trimming. So let's specify first point and then we need to specify direction by entering second point. If we wish we can continue uh, drawing these construction lines but the Anchored point, they will be anchored in a first specified point. Or we can exit and enter X line command again and draw a new one wherever we wish. And specify direction. And then again. and vertical direction. Now here we have three construction lines that will help us to draw object inside of this object. So let's use object tracking to specify point on this construction line that goes until this one in a horizontal direction. And once again, we'll use object snap tracking and this construction line. And these construction lines we usually delete on the end of our drawing when we they are not needed anymore. Now we have these two parallel lines on a certain distances from each other. Now, we will join these lines by using fillet command and radius mode. As you can see, in two, para two parallel lines, you can join together with rounded side by fillet command. Or, you can round it as well by using circle command. Let's enter circle. And then we will choose two point mode. So first end point and second end point. And now we need trim command to delete part of a circle that is not needed. That would be all for this video.